Good morning. It's the morning here now in Kildare at home, March, I think it's the 4th of March or the 5th of March 2022. It's an absolutely stunning morning, really, really cold, really dry though, and a uh, beautiful morning for a walk or a run or whatever sort of outdoor activity you might be, you might be inclined to engage in. My birds are feeling the pinch though because they're munching through the food to beat the band and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to feed them. See the birds have started building a nest up there as well. On the top of this tree I've never seen uh, lift the birds up there. You see the three birds up there. They're all waiting for me to, to refill the feeder because in fairness they all know that I will refill it. So we gotta do that now. You see them flying around up there, waiting expectantly for me to refill. So I better do that now. Just head down here to the garage and get the bird seed. Get the bird seed in the local or peanuts in the local garden centre, my valley garden centre up there at my valley. They have uh, peanuts and so on. So um Another feed around the back here. We'll get that one done now in a few minutes. Got to do these, these two first. As soon as I go around the corner now to the other feeder at the back, here will look like Dublin Airport because all the little birds will come in and they will be taking their place in the queue to get their food and there seems to be some sort of a hierarchy as to who gets the food and when and it's fascinating to watch these little people. And I have a, our kitchen window is just here behind so I can stand at the kitchen window there and I do often just to see the birds coming in and I see them feeding and they're going to feed obviously freely and with abandon when when there's nobody around and I can see a big fat robin there just behind the bird feeder at the moment you might be able to see him if I go around the corner I can guarantee you there's going to be significant activity around there with the birds. Big birds come in first. Crows and the magpies and so on. Not so crazy about them. But uh, there's one there now, little robin. Big birds come in first. I'm not crazy about them because they're just cause, probably because of their size. I suppose it's not entirely fair to penalise big birds either. They have to eat too. But just the little birds, you are more inclined, I suppose, to have sympathy for them. Anyway, we'll go around the back here and do the other feeder. So another feeder around the back. There's no lid on it, but it doesn't really make much difference. See the little birds now are having great fun with the grub. See them down there. I don't want to go too close because. So they'll all just fly off, unfortunately. But you can see them there. Oh, it's such a beautiful day that I'm going to have to 
take the opportunity to cut the grass again closer than last week there for the first time uh, it was very very long I left it laying on the grass around the ground there as you can see it's a bit messy but I'm going to cut it again now today because it's such a beautiful day it's so bloody dry although the grass itself will be wet but it's a beautiful day so what I'd actually do now is I have big hands inside that I'm going to put on my head and I will listen to a podcast or listen to my audiobook depending on whether I can get a good podcast or not. If I can, I'll listen to a podcast, generally business or marketing related. If I can't, I'll listen to my book. Oh, The Talented Mr. Ripley. Yeah, The Talented Mr. Ripley. It is a classic. It seemed to be a classic, but uh, I'm disappointed with it so far. Anyway, I'm going to cut the grass now and uh, that will involve taking out my lawnmower in here. Lawn more out. I used to hate it cutting the grass, such a bloody waste of time. But since I started listening to audiobooks and listening to podcasts, I don't see it as a waste of time anymore because it's an hour or two every week practically every Saturday or Sunday that I'm going to spend and I'm going to A, I'm going to cut the grass but B, more importantly I'm going to learn something educational from some of the audio books that I listen to or some of the podcasts so as I say I used to see cutting the lawn as a complete bloody waste of time and then the grass just grows again and it's there again the following week but now not so much, you know, on a beautiful day like today and maybe as you get older you actually really appreciate nice weather, nice dry day, it's cold but to be able to get out for an hour, an hour and a half, two hours, clear the head, listen to a podcast as I say or an audiobook, um, it's nice, it's really nice, it's one of the simple pleasures and after the lockdown with the coronavirus situation for the last couple of years, like anything that's sort of a reversion to normal life is certainly to be right.
one of the questions that invariably comes up on social media, YouTube, Instagram, elsewhere, is the question, is no good time to buy a property? Is no good time to get into the property market? And I always give the same question, the same answer. The question isn't when, the question is whether or if. The question is, should you buy a property? Not, is now a good time, is now a perfect time. And the reason for that is because you need to decide whether a property is, for, is, is right for you or not. And on a day like today, when you are enjoying the benefits of cutting the grass you're on your property, you mightn't have a rural property like me. I'm lucky enough, I suppose, to have a rural property, although not everybody would like to live in the countryside. But one of the questions that people ignore, one of the issues people ignore is their situation in life and their circumstances and whether they should buy a property or not. Now, I know it's very, very difficult for young people, especially nowadays, because the property market is crazy and housing has become incredibly expensive. But you should, I think, make a decision about whether you should buy a property or not. Not the getting the time perfect, or you should never get the time perfect. Whether you should or not will depend on your own circumstances. It will also depend on other factors. For example, one of the factors that you need to consider is the enjoyment you're going to get out of having a house to look after and maybe to put the grass on a Saturday morning like me, if you're lucky enough. I know I'm very, very lucky and very, very fortunate to be in this situation. But it's one of the questions that or one of the issues you probably should factor into your decision making as to whether you should buy a property or try and get the timing perfect. But I don't think you can get the timing perfect. Anyway, I'm happy enough now because it's March, early March, and on the morning like this, the birds singing, you can hear the singing of the birds, I'm sure. It's lovely to be able to walk around a lawn like this, it's rough as a badger's arse quite frankly in terms of a lawn but it's my place and it's my place that I've been cutting the grass on for 20 years or more or whatever length of time we're here so it's one of the joys that you get from home ownership as I say I know it's very very difficult nowadays especially the price of housing factors that you should really feature largely. There's the birds there feeding away. You should always factor in, I suppose, is for you and for your family, for your loved ones, is it a good decision to buy a house? Is it a good decision to buy property? Because if it is, then don't waste your time trying to get the timing perfect. Nobody ever gets the timing perfect. And the reason nobody ever gets the timing perfect is simply because nobody can predict the future. Nobody can predict what property price rises, interest rates, inflation, etc. etc. So anyway, I hope you like this little vlog that I've made. I started out feeding the birds and then I ended up cutting the grass and going off on a tangent about property market. But the reason I went off on a tangent about property is because the joy that you can get from home ownership. As I say, it's not for everybody and not everybody is going to be fortunate enough to be able to afford a home. So that's a decision you have to make. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Hope you liked the vlog. Give it a thumbs up down below if, you're, if you think it's alright or if you found it interesting or entertaining or stimulating or thought-provoking. And uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.